back from the break. Now, as we promised, we are still in Machakos County in Mbiuni area and here we have visited very senior farmers doing fruit farming that is the tangerines, the Washington oranges and the mango fruits. And now Francis was in our first segment and here we meet the manager of this farm whom Francis says is the wife whom they work together on this farm. Now the wife or the manager to this farm will take us through of the businesses of how they run this fruit business and how they make profit from fruit farming. Karibu sana. Hello, Mangrebs. Asante sana kwa How are friends. you? Very, very Welcome fine. in our farm. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes. Now you can start by introducing yourself. Kutuambia we ni nani na unafanya kazi hapa na nani ala kutuendele. Kwa majina mi na ito ambendeta kaluki muoki na mimi ni mkulima na ninasaidiana na bwana wangu ndiyo anaitwa Francis Muoki na sasa mimi na namsaidia sana juu mimi ni manager ndio kwa sababu ninakaa huku sana kuliko yeye eh hey, ametuambia kwamba wewe na hii shamba nyinyi ni marafiki sana <laughs> ja mimi ni rafiki wa wa, wa shamba hey, hey. na nafurahia sana huyu kulimaji wa maembe matunda nafurahia sana juu zinanifuatia mambo mazuri sana hey. mani hey. Na sasa tukia umetuambia unafurahia sana. Hapa tunaona uko na maembe. Labda unaweza tuambia ni maembe gani ambayo umepanda hapa shambani mwako? Yes. Mimi niko na maembe. Mimi napanda maembe inaitwa hapo na taifu nyingine inaitwa ngowe. Taifu mbili. Eh. Mm -hmm. Na machungwa pia ninaona huu ni mchungwa. Hii ni variety gani ya machungwa ambayo uko nayo hapa? Hii ni Washington. Mm -hmm. Oranges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Na sasa wewe kama manager wa hii farm, ni nini ambacho unafanya hapa shambani ili uweze kupata matunda mazuri? Ninalilimia hii matunda yangu, ninaweka mbolea, ninaweka mbolea nyingi ili ipate mazao mengi. Ninatoa makwegwe na nina spray ikiwa na makonjwa nina spray ili nipatie mazao mazuri. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Na unafanya hivyo kwa mara ngapi labda kwa siku ama kwa mwezi? Hii ni, inategemea na season. Kama saa hii tuna tuli, tulifuna maembe. Sasa kwa muembe nitafanya fruning. Nitajarishe kwa ile mzimo mwingine. Na sasa kwa ma oranges ndio saa hii ninaanza kuangalia kama iko na makonjwa ili nianze kuspray na kutoa hii makwegwe iko karibu nayo ili itoe mazao mazuri. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kutoka kwa ukulima wa matunda, ni manufaa gani umepata? Kutokana na na manufaa ninapata ni kutoka na hii matunda, ma, matunda ninapata pesa. Hizi pesa zinanisaidia kwa mboma yangu. Hizi basic needs sikuangi na shida. Na mimi hata si, si, saa sote sikimbili bwana wangu nipatie nipatie juhudi kiuza ninapata pesa ninaangalia ni nini haiko katika mboma ninanunua saa ingine hizi pesa zinatusaidia kuongeza shamba zinatusaidia kulipa kalo ya shule na hata kwa msimu hii ya maembe nimefurahia sana juu nilivata 150 na nikanunua ngombe ya maziwa ingali iko hapo utaiona hey, hey. hey. kwa kumaanisha ukulima wa maembe na machungwa imekusaidia sana imenisaidia sana juu mimi nilijiandika kwa shamba mimi si kuanjiliwa lakini kwa shamba mi napata beza nyingi hata kuliko mzara wa bwana yangu <laughs> <laughs> Nandi ndio ananiita manager hey, hey. juni namsaidia kwa jambo nyingi sana yeah very good sio unashika ukiwa unari sana nguko lakini hii iko poa acha ni na katika hizo manufaa zote lazima kukuwe na changamoto ni changamoto gani mnapitia hapa Hasa hasa kwa ukulima wa maembe season hii hata kama nimeuza pesa nyingi si kulikuwa na changamoto ya food fry ili tufanya maembe mengi ya ya ripike 
Na kama umeona si kuna tabs zingine zile tunaweka juu ya maembe zinachukua hiyo footy fly zinaoa although zinaoa ni nyingi sana juu hapa ninaweka na my neighbor anjaweka sasa hizo footy fly sote juu sina sinafurutwa na hiyo nini iko iko in ya hiyo full fly trap yeah zinaingia hapa kwangu kwa hivyo zilikuwa nyingi sana na simiaribu sana lakini nimeuza sana juu niko na miti nyingi sana kwa hivyo mimi sioni hasara kwa sababu miti ni mingi juu ile inazaa ni 120 the mature ones na mti mmoja unaweza kutoa 1500 na 500 so kiasi okay. piga hesabu unaona kwamba unaweza chuna crate mingi sana kutoka kwa shamba yeah. ile uh, season ushaitoa crate mingi ama gunia mingi za maembe umetoa gunia ngapi ama crate ngapi ile season nimetoa nyingi hasa ni season hii na hatuuzi kwa gunia si tunauza na piece tunaweza moja moja eh mm, oranges ndio tunauza na kilo kwa hivyo this season nimetoa nyingi juu tunauza piece moja 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 na mkiuza pa piece mnauza shilingi ngapi hapa sokoni the highest juu hapa kuna watu wa export ndio wanakujanga na walianza kununua nopemba walikuwa wanatununia walikuwa wananunua na shilingi kumi pa piece hapa pickup silikuwa sinakuja sinawekwa sinajaa sinaenda sinarudi sina sinarudi sina sasa hii this affected ones ndio niliuza kaa hivi 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 silingi tano silingi tano sita ine mm -hmm. eh. mm -hmm. mm. na tukiangalia pia umesema wewe hapa shambani lazima utoe magugu ili matunda yako yakue vizuri mm. na kupata soko ndio mpate hawa watu ambao wana za export. Ni nini ulifanya ili upate kupata sasa hawa watu ambao wanakuja kununua matunda pale shambani? Ulitafutaje soko yako? Ninajulikana. Njuu hapa kwangu najulikana kama mkulima wa maembe. Na ninajulikana ninatunza vizuri. Sasa watu wananijua. Wanakimbilia hapa. Nimejiuza kwa matunda yangu. Mm. Hapa area ninajulikana. Kwa hivyo hakuna kutafuta wanakuja hapa. Juu. Eh, juu wanaona zile safi, zile zimetunzwa, ziwanakuja. Mm -hmm. eh. Kwa hivyo hata ukienda soko uulize kwangu, watu watakulete hapa. Utasikia huyu anajulikana kwa hii na hii. Na tukiangalia maembe hii ambayo umekuwa ukipanda kwa muda mrefu hapa shambani mwako. Ukianza je unapanga kuongeza ama tu umedhihirika na hii michungwa uh, maembe 120 ambazo uko nazo? Na ndaendelea na kuongeza. Juu nimeona ziko na pesa. Huku kwetu hakuna cash crop nyingine. Cash crop tuko nayo ni ya machungwa, tanzirini na mangos. Kwa hivyo nitaongeza. Mm. Okay. Na sasa tukiangalia upande wa wanarika. Unajua wanarika wengi sana wanataka kujiunga na ukulima lakini hawajui waanzie wapi. Na umefanya hii biashara kwa miaka 30 mkiwa na mume wako. Unezaambiaje wanarika ili waweze kujiunga katika ukulima wa matunda? The advice which I can give to youth people. I can tell them to go back to their home. Juu pesa zinapatikana nyumbani. Huko wanaenda na robi saa ingine wana, wanakosa kazi na huku wako na mashamba. Kama ninaweza kuwapata wote ningewaambia warudi nyumbani juu. Sasa tumefuna maembe. Mm, April na May tutafuna oranges. Hivyo hivyo tu kila mwaka. Na nikifanya hesabu kila mwaka na ni divide nitaona kila mwezi kile ninaweza kuwa nikipata kama mzara. Kwa hivyo I can advise them to go back to the shamba and to start this juu hazina kazi nyingi si unalilimia daso na kwa mwaka unafuna na wale ambao already wako wanafanya ukulima wa maembe na machungwa na labda wapati mazao mengi kama vile wewe unavyofanya ni nini unaweza ambiwa wafanye ili waendelee kupata mazao mazuri shambani wenye wenye wanalima na saa nyingine they are not serious hawataki kufuatalia mavunzo tunafunzwa na watu wa agriculture na ndio saa nyingine wanakufa moyo 
juu kama ni mwembe afiki ndawa afruni afuatalie zile zile maongozo tunapatiwa wana wanakufa moyo ninaweza kuwaambia wawe kini wafatane na watu wa agriculture na wavuate zile mavunzo tunavunzwa ili wawe wanafata Ma, mazao mengi na mazuri. Na umesema pruning. Kwa mti wa muembe una prune mara ngapi labda kwa season? Mti wa maembe tuna prune once. After harvesting kama now. Sasa ndio tunaanza ku prune. Unaangalia zile branches zile zinaandanga na chini ndio tunai prune. Juu sikienda na chini na mfua ianze kukonyesha unaona hii maji ikirace kuna mchanga una Una, una, unapanda juu unapanda juu na hiyo mchanga unaharibu kwa hivyo tuna tuna pruni hizo hata hizo tuna pruni kwa sababu nyingine wakati wa kusipray kama iko chini sana it is so hisi to to kushika hiyo maukonjwa juu huko chini kuna white fly na za zile siko sinakuja hapa sikiwa na maukonjwa alafu sina attack the, the crop j ni nini ambacho unatamani kufanya kama mkulima ili uendelee kuenjoy benefits zinakuja na ukulima wa maembe na machungwa kile naweza kufanya niwe nina enjoy niwe active niwe ninafuatana na maangizo ninaambiwa nitunze shamba yangu na niwe nikisaidiana na watu wangu ili tuwe tunafurahia hii mafuno ya fruits Eh, juu sasa nimenunua ngombe moja ya masiwa. Sasa hiyo nitakuwa nikiikamua, napikia bwana wangu kachai, anakunywa, anafurahia kazi yangu. Takwambia <laughs> ni kweli. Asante sana. Tumefurahi na tumesoma mengi kutoka kwako na tunakuombea upate kuprosper katika hii ukulima wa maembe na machungwa na wanunuzi wakuje hapa wengi na wengi zaidi ili wapate kununua machungwa yako. Asante sana hata mimi nimefurahia kwa kuwa umeniona mkuje hapa mnitembelee ili mimi nijue nime, nime, sasa nimeanza kujua sasa mimi amafama. Kwa hivyo nimefurahia kukuja kwenu kukaanga na mimi Ehe. na kunipatia hand device kama hiyo. Asante sana. Asanti sana. Na karibu tena mkuje tena. Tutarudi matunda yakiwa zaidi sana sana sana, sana ya machungwa. Welcome. Asante. Yeah. Wow wow wow. There you have it on fresh and fruity and we have been in Machakos in Mbuni area visiting Francis and his wife's farm where they have been able to reap gratefully from their oranges, tangerines and mangoes and from what I have learned from these farmers is you must scout your farm to ensure that your fruits are healthy and clean and you must also brand yourself as a farmer to get the good market for your produce. Thank you so much for staying tuned to Fresh and Fruity. I have been your host through the show, Margaret Wairimo, and keep the conversation going on our social media platforms. That is at Facebook, Twitter, at Farm Kenya 254, and also send your SMS on our screen line 22071, giving us your comments and feedback on today's show. Now, till next time, it's bye-bye for now.